Google recently rebranded Google Bard to Google Gemini now. On 8th February, they announced this particular change. Now, everything related to Google Bard has been renamed as Google Gemini. As part of the Gemini, they introduced certain new models. Now, in this particular video, I'll show you how can you use Google Gemini for free. And also, I'll show you some of the paid options, what are the differences, and all those things we'll talk about in this particular video. So let me show you a few of the details. First of all, Google came up with this three model of Gemini. Now, Gemini is available in three different sizes. First one is Gemini Ultra, which is now available as part of a paid plan and which is Gemini Advanced plan. So that is uh, in Indian market, it's 2000 rupees per month and it's $20 in USD if you are uh, going to take it from US. Now, second thing is Google Gemini Pro and that's also Pro uh, 1.0 is the current version and that is available for free for anyone. If you just have a Google ID, you can log in and I'll show you those tips. Another option they came up with that is Google Gemini Nano and which will be part of the Android devices and Google Pixel is is one of the phone that will have that particular model so these are the three available options in google gemini now so now let me show you how can you use gemini pro for free if you follow my mouse this is the link gemini.google.com app i'll add this particular link in the description below so you can just copy paste so first of all it's a you can see it's a very similar console like google bard we had earlier similar to google bard there are some sample prompts like there's a mention that create a splashy watercolor image and if you just click it will start generating that prompt for you you can see that create an image of a jungle with the river in a splashy watercolor style you can change this particular text here and you can execute if i execute directly it will generate that particular image so this is some of the ready-made prompts are available in the console itself and which will give you an idea that how those prompts needs to be written and uh, based on that you will get the result so you can see it already generated if i click on any of them so it will show me those options so, so there are all three it generated now and and if you want to download you just need to go to this particular download icon and this particular image will get downloaded now this is one part that this is the basic thing and let me step by step take you through the other options available here in the left pane you can see that there is a history of all of the uh, prompts whatever you are going to execute and all those results like i did some of the researches earlier those are available here if you click on any of this particular topic it will show you that whatever the prompt i executed earlier so if you click this show more it will show you more details and you can hide this particular pane also this is on the history if you click on the new chat it will clear everything and it will give you the clean slate and you can start from there in the settings you have certain options and i'll show you those step by step but before that if you click on this particular icon of your profile it will show you using which google account you are logged in if you click on settings first of all you will be able to manage your subscription if i click on that it will open that my subscriptions here and it's not only for the google gemini it is for your overall google account uh, all those settings it will go i have a google one a subscription that's why it's showing as google one settings now let me close it and the next one is that real-time responses now when this is enabled and you are whenever you are executing a prompt you will be able to see that on the fly how it's generating the responses so if i click on any of this particular ready-made prompt if i click you can see this prompt got generated and if i execute you will be able to see whenever gemini is generating the text you will be able to see step by step the progress you will be able to see if i turn this particular thing off whenever you will execute a prompt it will only show you the result once the entire content will be generated now let me go to a new chat again let me click on the same option now you will be able to see that it's working but it's not showing any progress it will give you all the results on a single go it will not show you the progress that step by step or line by line it's generating you can see it's all generated in one go and then only it's shown so this is a simple thing let me turn it on again you can change the theme currently i'm using a dark theme and you can also use a lighter one so that's up to you and now one good feature that is your public links let me show you what is the benefit here now you have this particular uh, prompt and you generated the response and this i think some movies are uh, it generated you can share it with someone else you need to do only one thing you need to go to this particular share and export icon and there you will be able to get three options share export to a doc and draft in gmail first let me show you the in the share option if i click on that it will give you an option to create a public link if you click on this particular button it will generate in when you 
new public link now if i copy that and i go to a different browser and if i hit enter it will take you to that particular chat you can see whatever i prompted those result it is showing here whenever maybe you are researching something and you want to share it with someone else the person will be able to open that link they can also continue that chat from there so it will be very useful if you want to share certain results with someone so this is on the share option so let me go back show you other options if i click on this share and export and then if i click on draft in gmail what it will do it will open your gmail and it will add all these details in that email you can see the new emails created let me click on open gmail and it's opening my gmail in a new email you can see it's already populated with all details in the subject line also you just need to add the recipient and you need to send you can also revise certain things here like uh, help me to write you can formalize this entire response elaborate on shorten so this is part of google do it ai and it's available within gmail i have a different video on this particular topic i will add the link in the description below once that particular video will be published let me show you the other option export to doc you can and click on that so this particular result will be added to a google doc and this particular file you will be able to save in your uh, google drive so if i open so you can see that it's opening a new doc and there everything uh, is being added so you don't need to copy paste from the console and then create something so within a single click you will be able to export it to google docs now let me show you one very good thing that is extensions which are available in google gemini and that's for free because this particular feature is available in chat gpt but those are part of the paid version so where you will be able to use some custom gpts or plugins those are available as part of the paid plan but here in google gemini free version only you will be able to see those extensions now let me click on that and show you what are the options there are five extensions as of now google flights google hotels maps but most important two things are google workspace and youtube this is something which are very very useful considering we are utilizing everything within google ecosystem using this youtube extension now there is a new feature available within gemini that is youtube vision i'm in process to publish another video which is specifically related to this particular topic which is gemini youtube vision it will be able to check any of the existing youtube video and give you full details from that particular video not only the transcript it will give you scene by scene details and whatever you can ask so just check that particular video for more details i'll also publish another video where i'll talk about only this google workspace how it can be utilized now last two things uh, to share here you can see one upload image option is there what you can do you can upload any of the image i already have one image here that is a stock price of microsoft uh, let me open that also if i ask one thing and if i hit enter it will analyze that particular picture if i click on that it's in microsoft stock price now it came up with all the details available you can see it's mentioned that it's a stock chart of microsoft now let me show you another option here which is very good feature within google gemini earlier it was also available as part of google bard that is it will show you three options if you just click on this particular arrow it will show you three different drafts so this is the first draft second draft it gave in a different way and that there is a third draft you can also regenerate this particular response if you are not happy with any of these drafts and it will regenerate from the scratch you can see it went and it's going to generate it another time now one final thing that using this particular microphone button also you will be able to give any of the prompt you just need to use it from your voice it can also uh, take the prompt so these are the very basic of uh, google gemini pro now you can check this particular video where i talked about how can you use microsoft copilot for free and that's a, a free plan i described there if you are interested check this particular video